So to start with, maybe we'll do a handle like this to make it bigger, much bigger than we need. Okay. So something like that. With the attack of the lawnmower going on in the background. place is big enough that she does have to go away eventually. Anyway, we'll put that like so. And I'm gonna have to do some more sealing afterwards, I think, to make sure that doesn't leak resin. This guy's going in here like this. Like that. Let's cut trimming this to fit it nicely and then we'll have to do some tape work if that works this is an old file folder that i just covered in tuck tape there that's better i'll switch to something else and i'm gonna switch to like 100 and do my final bevels on it ah, good to know it didn't shatter perfect there is the ultimate test. Didn't shatter. It's a nice color, eh? We're gonna put more than we need in here, obviously. <clears throat> put this sucker in here. And I want it to get covered in the pearlescence. So now that that's in, I'm going to slide this piece of wood back in here. And the key is, the idea is to get this tight. It doesn't look like much right now, but it's all taped, the blade's all taped up, and this handle is going to be awesome when it's done. do a better job but I got the tang exposed it's not perfectly even the resin is a little thicker on this side than this side but you know what such is life and so I'm gonna put the finger grips I think into this guy So I went through my resin a bit and the bottom, which was not supposed to be a handle. It was supposed to be exposed. So we'll see about that. I don't know. Maybe I'll clean it all from here down or something. But the handle itself, looking pretty good. I'm going to go in by hand here and see if I can get rid of these lines in the resin, clean it all up. But otherwise, it's pretty nice. It's a pretty comfy handle, really. 